What the f 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 Hey guys, Pixel Insane here and today just this quick video to kind of remake and made up for the mistakes that I made on the what the fuck video of the Spider-Man thingy. First of all, I just want to thank you all for watching this video, it means a lot to me and please do consider to check this video right here which took me another month, a lot of tribulation, and yeah, you can say that, a lot of troubles. But it was fun, and I think I did well. Probably even better than this one. Still, probably, that one should have been done in 24 frames per second as well. But again, maybe I'll do that as well if you guys want to. So, and I basically remade it with a 24 frames per second, and also I removed that nasty shadow that you can see uh, right here. What the f so I wanted to do that because I received so many comments, so many good feedbacks and a lot of views and I realized that probably I should have done it in the first place, firstly, in 24 frames per second like in the movie. For some reason I totally, not forgot, probably I wanted to experiment something else and uh, it turned out to be 30 frames per second, maybe because I started with the animations and blah blah blah, something like that. Anyway, so I remade it, so I reset it to 24 frames per second and I realized that in After Effects, and I'm gonna show you, in After Effects when you import a new sequence, it does not uh, set it to the right frame per second right away. For example, if I select Spidey only and double click it and I have this new one right here and if I go to right click and interpret footage main, I can see right here that it's 30 frames per second. So maybe that was a mistake. But now I did it again and I set it to 24 frames per second, which turned out to be like this. What the f and also I removed that nasty shadow that was kind of blocking in the way, which was just a sunlight to kind of get some uh, shadow on Spider-Man himself. So now I rendered two separate layers, the Spider-Man on the lamppost and then the background itself. And that was easy enough, I just copied the lens compensation, the camera blur and the green removal right there and voila. And basically it's done, so I just wanted to give like uh, justice to this video and so here you have it. What the f and if you're not subscribed yet, please do consider so and also to check the new video right here, which took me a long time to make. I appreciate all the comments, all the likes, thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you on the next one, ciao!